The challenge in armored vehicle design, right, so everybody, this is a Caterpillar C7 engine, right, commercial engine with some modifications. The uh, A1 has a Caterpillar C9, which is a 450 horse version, a little bit bigger than this. Okay, so people people look at military applications and go, oh, it's just a, diesel engines are everywhere. What's the big deal? Okay, so take a diesel engine, then we're going to put it in an armored box, and we're going to make it breathe through a soda straw. Um, and oh, by the way, I want to make the armored box as small as possible because I don't want a big vehicle. I want room for payload. That's not trivial. And then we're going to run it not on, you know, nice, uh, clean uh, commercial diesel, but we're going to run it on JP8 and expect to you know, to run at, you know, minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit or at 140 degrees uh, in the desert. And not overheat. And not overheat and work every time. Mm -hmm. And then work when it's damaged, been blown up, you know, drive you away from the, the worst possible incident. So it's, but it's just a commercial diesel engine, right?